That is an American television reporter, Omar Jimenez, being led away by police officers. Uh, he clearly identified himself as a reporter. That's right. A black and Latino CNN reporter was arrested while he was simply doing his job. It happened live on television. And it, this is the type of First Amendment freedom of press violation, constitutional violation that should outrage every single American in this country. And if you want to see what this scene looked like um, and, and whether or not there was any justification for the Minnesota state troopers to arrest Omar Jimenez and his crew, let's take a look at the context. Wherever you'd want us, we will, we will go. We are just getting out of your way when you're advancing through the intersection. So just let us know and we, and we got you. And uh, this is a scene here playing out in Minneapolis. This is part of the advanced police presence that we saw come over the course of, of really minutes when the local police showed up at the fire department or with the fire department, I should say, on that building we showed you that was burning. This is among the state patrol unit that was advancing up the street, saying and scattering the protesters at that point for people to clear the area. And so we walked away. I'm sorry? You're under arrest. Okay. Do you mind oh, whoa, telling whoa, whoa, me whoa. why I'm under arrest, sir? So there he is getting um, arrested. That was the first part of the video. And he clearly, it was obvious that he is a CNN reporter. Um, you know, he showed his, he had a CNN badge that was clearly visible. Uh, he was in the middle of a live hit. It was clear that he was a journalist, someone who was also complying with what the state troopers want and they decided to arrest him anyway. Guys, I just want to go to this final video and then we'll open it up for discussion. Why am I under arrest, sir? Officer is with CNN and he's on the air right now. Okay. You are arresting him live on CNN. We, we told you before that we are with CNN. If you're just tuning in, you are watching our correspondent, Omar Jimenez, being arrested by state police in Minnesota. We're not sure why our correspondent is being arrested. Hang on one second, Allison. Let's listen into what these officers are saying. That is an American television reporter, Omar Jimenez, being led away by police officers. Uh, he clearly identified himself as a reporter. So that's what the scene was like. He was uh, shortly after that was uh, released. But I do want to note that it wasn't he wasn't the only person who was arrested. Uh, members of his crew were also arrested and later they were let go. Um, and the response that we've gotten from uh, the Minnesota state troopers uh, is in the course of clearing the streets and restoring order at Lake Street and Snelling Avenue, four people were arrested by state patrol troopers, including three members of, C of a CNN crew. The three were released once they were confirmed to be members of the media. But he was wearing a badge that was clearly visible. You see it hanging from his pants. And he was in the middle of a live hit as he was uh, being arrested. So uh, I, no one's buying that argument at all. No, the, here's what they actually meant. Uh, they were released as soon as we figured out that it was CNN. Uh, it's not like they didn't know he was media. There was a giant camera pointed at him. <laughs> it wasn't a cell phone. It was a big TV camera. Uh, and by the way, if it was a cell phone, that's still 100% acceptable. So basically, they were saying, we were arresting all the media. We just didn't know that they were part of the powerful media. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Jeff Zucker had Tim Walz, the governor of Minnesota, on uh, to discuss this apparently minutes after the arrest. We had a reporter and a cameraman arrested in St. Louis three years ago covering protests, incredibly similar situation. They've got a TYT flag on their mic. They've got press credentials. They show it to the cops. Uh, the reporter is white. The cameraman's black. Boom, arrested. No one cares. By the way, CNN didn't stick up for us. None of the major media stick, uh, st stuck up for us. Uh, but all of a sudden, when it happens to CNN, everybody's outraged. And by the way, they should be. They should be outraged. 
uh, but they should be outraged when it happens to all media. Uh, and and CNN had a reporter a block down the street who was white. So people constantly trying to uh, avoid the very, very obvious. Now, like, so for, for those of the right wingers who are going to say like, oh, you think they're going to do that live on camera because they actually want to do a race? Well, they did do it live on camera. That shows how brazen they are. And, and it doesn't mean that they had to have a committee meeting and a memo ahead of time saying arrest only the black reporters. What we're trying to tell you guys is it's the assumptions, the stereotypes, and the discrimination that's built into the system and into those cops' heads. Because they, when they see a white reporter and he says, I'm from CNN, they go, oh, he must be from CNN, and they don't arrest him. When they see a black reporter from CNN, they go, yeah, right, yeah, I'm sure you're from CNN, arrest him, and they lead him away. So in fact, is- let me just read the last uh, uh, comment in the uh, story here, because there was a white CNN um, reporter there. Uh, CNN's Josh Campbell, who also was in the area, but not standing with the on-air crew, said he too was approached by police, but was allowed to remain. He was quoted as saying, I identified myself. They said, okay, you're permitted to be in the area, recounted Campbell, who is white. I was treated much differently than Jimenez was. Ida, go ahead. So, yeah, that's what I was going to say. There was another white reporter in the vicinity who wasn't treated that way. But this is why I have such an emergency call to action when it comes to Latinos who who don't think that this could happen to them. This is an Afro-Latino. And yes, when they see you, they see a Black person. They don't care if your last name is Jimenez and you speak Spanish. But the other thing that I want to say is that the trying to shut down, first of all, the race soldiers that are in, have infiltrated law enforcement who are, are part of these white supremacist groups, they really think that they are beyond the law. When someone says you think they would do that on camera, yes, they kill somebody on camera. Why wouldn't they re- arrest a black person on camera if they murdered a black person on camera and, and thought that they were going to be OK with it? And the other thing is, for all these people who are always talking about the Constitution and the patriots, that looks that scene looks like a, the scene from a third world country or a communist country where the press does not have the right to speak up. You should be weary. You should be concerned that uh, in the middle of a of a civil unrest, they are arresting members members of your media after the president is reciting the language of dictators. We should be we should be. This is a state of emergency right now. And I don't understand why people don't realize the sense of urgency of what is happening in this country right now. So take us out of it, even though it literally happened to us. Say it's democracy now. You know what? They would have arrested the black reporter and no one would have cared. They would have gotten away with it. And so the only reason they didn't get away with it was because it was a major cable news outlet. Every other uh, media would have been arrested and no... and. And that's why they did it. They did it because they know 99% of the time they're going to get away with it. And the rest of the media isn't going to stick up for them. That's what's going to yeah, happen. I mean, unless it's you're amazing. absolutely right. But, a- Amy Goodman has been arrested <laughs> for, and for no covering one cared protests. And no one stuck up for her other than us. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.